Since it was just fountain pen day on November 2nd, I thought of all the amazing signatures I've seen using a fountain pen or a traditional dip pen. So I thought I would compile a list of my top 10 famous signatures that I've seen in my many years of researching hand lettering and calligraphy. There are many good ones out there and it was hard to break it down to just 10, but I've collected some great ones. So here's the list. Starting at number 10 is one of the greatest English playwrights and poets, William Shakespeare. His signature is very unique, with interesting flourishes. It also looks like he used three different types of lettering styles in his signature. The W looks like an informal script, the I-L-L-M looks like a formal upright script, and Shakespeare looks like Arabic flat pen calligraphy. A unique and memorable signature. At number 9 is the daughter of Henry VIII and was the iconic Queen of England and Ireland in the late 1500s. None other than Queen Elizabeth I. Her signature was quite ornate. She added flourishes on the E, Z, B, and R. And by the way, the R stands for Regina, which is Latin for Queen. I'm sure she felt like she had to make her signature very memorable. At number eight was an American educator, author, and advisor to the presidents of the United States between 1890 and 1915, Booker T. Washington. He was also one of the founders of the National Negro Business League. His signature is a nice, casual, and extended style that has long connectors. I love his connector from the lowercase r to the cap T initial and his SH ligature. At number seven is the prominent and eccentric Spanish surrealist artist Salvador Dali. His signature was done a number of ways, but I like this version the best. I like the unconventional and playful approach to his signature. The addition of the ink splatter adds a bold distinctive mark to his signature and relates back to the style of his art. At number six is the founding father of the United States of America, George Washington. I cannot tell a lie, I love his signature. This was his signature while he was president. There are many great parts to it. The way he creates an icon ligature with the G and W, his interesting crossbar on the T, and the unique descender on the lowercase g. This signature almost looks like a rubber stamp, it's so well done. At number five was a leading author, printer, politician, postmaster, scientist, inventor, humorist, statesman, and diplomat, Benjamin Franklin. He was also the creator of Poor Richard's Almanac, which he authored under the pseudonym Richard Saunders. That's where many of his famous sayings were published, like, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. His signature has great foundational hand lettering and impressive flourishing. At number four is an American poet, essayist, and journalist, and was part of the transition between transcendentalism and realism. Walt Whitman was among the most influential poets in America, and is often called the father of free verse. I like how his signature is a symmetrical pyramid shape, making it a perfectly balanced signature. At number three is a Romanian-American cartoonist and illustrator best known for his work in the New Yorker magazine is Saul Steinberg. He described himself as a writer who draws. His unique and playful approach to his work made him a very memorable and loved artist. I love his style and his self-portrait character he adds to his signatures. At number two, as an American merchant, statesman, and prominent patriot of the American Revolution, John Hancock was president of Congress when the Declaration of Independence was adopted and signed. He is remembered for his large flamboyant signature on the Declaration. So much that John Hancock became an informal synonym for signature, it's like saying, I need your John Hancock on this document. His signature was very well crafted, and I especially like the additional weight on the cap J, H, and the case wash. And at number one is the creator of Mickey Mouse and a pioneer of the American animation industry. Walt Disney was born in Chicago and became a commercial artist and cartoonist in Kansas City. He later moved to California in the early 1920s and set up the Disney Empire. 
Walt's unique signature captured his creativity and the spirit of his characters in his animation. His signature turned into a very memorable logo for the Walt Disney Company. Well, that's the list. Hope you like it. If you did, please hit the like button. I'll continue to be on the lookout for new and past unique signatures. Thanks for watching.